system today, I'm going to show you how to add users. This is different from person. A user is someone that will have access to actually log in, monitor, review footage, um, add, add users, and things like that, depending on what permissions you give them. So what I'm going to show you now is um, under account and security, other video, we showed you how to add a person. And this one is going to be accounts and security. From there, um, we're going to go to roles. We're going to add a role. We're going to call this one uh, tie role. Oh, role. All right, effective period. Um, if you want them to have a stop effective period, um, however long you want to have them, you can always go there and delete this person as well to where they don't have access anymore. Um, and then you can create a template uh, that they're gonna have permission. Um, you can add a description if you wish. Um, so down here, this is the areas. So we're gonna say show this area. This is the only area. They don't have access to this because their user does not allow them. Um, I'm not using admin. I'm using another user I created to show you what this is going to look like. So you'd look for which ones you want to have access and they're going to have access to text test access from there. We're going to go to use permissions. There are a lot of different permissions in here. So this is your resource monitoring. Um, if you have cameras, do they have live view playback capture? Can they do any of this stuff? Um, add a tag on a video, lock the video, uh, PTZ control, if you want them to have control of your PTZ. So all these have drop downs um, and, and these that have the arrows. Audio config, uh, view health monitoring, that's the health and status. Um, doors, uh, do they have access to the door control? Do you just want to have all access to all the doors or do you want them to have certain things that they can and can't do? This is really up to you. Um, if they're going to have full admin access like you, um, you can simply just click this and it checks everything. Um, you don't have any, I don't have videos in this. This is just access control that I'm doing. Um, but you can go through each one of these and figure out which one you want. So that's, there's, you've seen three when we first started. So let me collapse this. And then you have configuration permissions. What can they configure? Again, you have all these you can go through and you have the drop down so you can see what they can and can't do. So you can either limit them to a whole bunch or give them full access. It depends on how you want to do it. We'll just say they have full access here and full access here. So after that, we're going to hit add. All right. Um, so it's under rules. What did it say? Oh, test department. <clears throat> Add. All right. Uh, I did a tie test roll. So now we need to add the user itself. So again, if you want to delete a user, you can't delete this one because this one's the admin for this uh, description here. Um, so I'm going to hit add and then I'm going to type in the username that I want them to have. So we'll do tie testing password. So this is a password up here are the character or the, the minimum characters and everything that you have to do. Um, so the first time that they log in with the password that you give them, they'll have to change it. So don't worry, just as long as you remember it, you give it to them the first time they'll have to go in and change it. And if you ever have to go in and reset their password, it's pretty simple. So you go in here and add a password. Expiration date. If it doesn't have an expiration date, just don't put anything. You can put their email down, but it really doesn't matter whether they're active or inactive. Uh, restrict current logins. So um, if for whatever reason, you know, they were on leave or a ban from the site, you can just restrict it if you knew they were coming back or you can just delete them and retest it or re-add it. Um, and then you're going to assign them to the role. So I did tie role. Um, and if I wanted to view the details of that, that's what we did under roles. It would basically just take you over to roles. After that, we're going to hit add. It shows that I'm offline. Anybody that's online, you'll be able to see online. Now, if I, uh, again, hit this and go in here. Oh, let me try. Let me try. I don't think I can do it because this is the admin. Yeah. 
All right, so uh, that's this is the one we created. So remember, we get expiration date, um, and we put where we wanted them. All right, so after that, um, they would go to the website that I give you, um, the DDNS, and they type in their username and the password. And again, the first time that they go to uh, use that, it'll ask them to change their password. And then they'll have uh, access to all the permissions that you gave them access to. And that is exactly how you add a user, not a person, to give them access, but a user uh, to allow them to gain access. Thank you for watching. Any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below.